There was a 23rd Grand Slam title and a new men's record set by Novak Djokovic at Roland Garros yesterday. Djokovic beat Kasper Ruud in straight sets to return to the world number one seed. He, uh, number one position, sorry. He, the French Open, that win further stakes his claim to be considered the greatest tennis player of all time. I feel incredibly proud uh, for Field. I'm so uh, blessed to be able to share it with my family. Uh, my, my, my kids, uh, my wife, my parents, everyone who has been supporting me in this journey. Um, of course, journey is still not over. I feel, you know, if I'm winning slams, why, why even think about, you know, ending the career that, uh, that already has been uh, going on for 20 years. Uh, so, I, I'm, you know, I still feel motivated. I still feel inspired to play the best tennis on these tournaments the most, you know, Grand Slams. You know, those are the ones that count, I guess, the most in the history of our sport. So I, I look forward already to, to Wimbledon. So on to the next competition. He mentioned it there, didn't he? And could Djokovic equal Margaret Court's all-time record of a 24th Grand Slam title at Wimbledon next month? He's now surpassed the retired rival Roger Federer's 20 major titles and is one clear of long-term rival Rafa Nadal. The truth is that I've always you know, compared myself to these guys because those are the two greatest rivals I ever had in my, in my career. And I've said it before you know, many times that they, they have actually defined me as a player. And, uh, all the success that I have, uh, you know, they've, they've contributed to it in a way, you know, because of the rivalries and the matchups that we had and, and uh, countless hours of um, thinking and analyzing and w what it takes to win against them on the biggest stage, you know, for me and my team. It was just those two guys uh, were occupying my mind for the last 15 years quite a lot. Uh, and. Um, in a professional sense, <laughs> and um, and and so of course it, it's um, amazing to to know that I I am one ahead of both of them in Grand Slams uh, uh, with Rafa, uh, but at the same time everyone writes their own history. So um, you know I I still think that. Um, Everyone has a unique journey that they should embrace and, and stick to. Um, but of course, having the three of us with Andy, of course, as well, that we cannot forget. Um, in the last 20 years, it's kind of reached the golden era of the men's tennis, and <clears throat> as people like to call it. So I'm really grateful to be part of this, this group um, of, of guys. Nadal tweeted his congratulations to Djokovic after the final, saying many congrats on the achievement, Novak Djokovic. 23 is a number that just a few years ago was impossible to think, uh, to, to think about, and you made it. Enjoy it with your family and team.